Hello, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome back to another episode of Just Dragons Random Thoughts. So, for my Christmas edition, and this was courtesy of purchasing other gadgets and getting uh, a couple gift cards to purchase this particular item, and after buying discounts, XYZ, XYZ, this item happened to be free. Now, it wasn't given to me free by Amazon or by the manufacturer, but gift cards that I had accumulated um, allowed me to obtain this particular CarPlay device to use in my vehicle. My vehicle is an older vehicle that does have an infotainment system, but it doesn't have um, the upgraded system where CarPlay would work without having to switch out the entire radio, which costs way too much money. And I've constantly been looking for something that I can use to have CarPlay in my vehicle without having to spend another 20, 30, 40, 50, however much it costs to purchase another new vehicle or even a used vehicle. So I came across this particular device on Amazon. And this is, as you can see from the box here, it is CarPlay, smart and safe driving expert. It, it has easy connection, mobile application cross screen flow, supports iPhone and Android phones. It is voice control, wireless projection. It also indicates that it has uh, frequency adjusted, uh, the ability to use a TF card, a U-Disc, which is basically a flash drive. It is hands-free, it's widely compatible, and it has Bluetooth 5.0. This is the other side of the box, the other side of the box, this is the back, and this is the top. When the box came today, I was like, oh, I know they did not send me a used item that I didn't pay for, but you know, it wasn't used, but hey, all right. So as you see in front of you, this is CarPlay. This is a seven inch display. Uh, you may see fingerprints, but this is actually just the film that's still on uh, the screen that I haven't taken off yet. And I may not take it off because I don't want my screen to get film on it. So uh, before I turn the device on, I want to go over a few of the items. Uh, I actually don't have the 3.5 millimeter auxiliary jack. Um, I took it in another part of my house and don't know what I did with it, but it does come with a 3.5 millimeter auxiliary cord, which is not very long. So if you want to use this in your car and depending upon where you put this on your car, like if you put this on your dash and your auxiliary cord from, for instance, my uh, car, my auxiliary port is inside of my uh, armrest, I'm going to need a longer auxiliary cord. So the one that came with it is way too small. So you would need a longer one if you plan to run this to where you hear everything coming out of your car audio speakers. But in addition to that cord, you get the booklet, which is I'm not sure if you can see it. It is the A5 Smart CarPlay uh, manual, and it just kind of goes through a few things here that you can see. Pretty standard information. It was really easy setup. It wasn't hard at all. One interesting thing that it came with was it comes with a backup camera. Now my vehicle uh, came actually pre-installed with a rear backup camera. So this is something that uh, if I didn't have a camera, I would use it. So I will say this in the event that say something happens to my backup camera and I need to have one, I always have one. And this is the extra extension that you can run. It gives you instructions and sticky tape on how to stick that up. So for the main event, so um, right now I've got it in my house. I haven't installed it in my car. I probably won't do that until tomorrow or later this weekend. But I just wanted to kind of give a brief overview of how this thing works. I'm like really excited. It's really cool. So I've got it plugged into a backup drive of mine that allows me to connect a cigarette lighter uh, that it's powered by. I believe this is 12 volt uh, uh, cigarette lighter. So I'm going to turn this on. And this is connected to my iPhone. I'm using an iPhone uh, XR model. So I'm going to turn this on. And in a minute, you'll see the screen automatically comes on. And this is what happens when it's plugged into your car. This screen will pop on. You'll see this screen initially. 
and then in a few moments it should connect to your phone which i have my phone already uh connected to the bluetooth that this device uses as well as to the wireless so as you see the phone has connected to carplay there we are i've kind of went in and redid my icons that i want to show on my main page of things that i'm going to use which would be of course ways uh, my phone messages uh, settings your maps uh, car home which basically takes you back to the first main screen that i showed you before the screen popped up uh, amazon music for the music i want to listen to or going to uh, my apple music which is music that's either on my phone or if i have the apple music subscription then i can play music from that uh, pandora which of course i currently don't have a subscription but you can still listen to uh, pandora with ads uh, and then of course now playing just basically and let you know what's playing. So I'm going to click on a few of these, but before I do that, I want to kind of go back to car home and I'm hoping you can see this, but here on this screen, this is your CarPlay. And if I had Android, if I hit that, then this would take me to the screen for the Android auto, but I don't have an Android phone. I'm not an Android user. So um, if anybody gets in my car that has Android, and if I let them connect, then they can use that. But primarily, it's always going to be CarPlay for me. So that is the icon for CarPlay. It also has the ability for AirPlay um, using an iPhone. So it has a link there. It has the Autolink FM transmit. So if you did not want to use the auxiliary cord or if your vehicle is that much of an older vehicle that you don't have an auxiliary port, then you can uh click on this and set your radio to a non uh use radio station of your car and then set this to that same station and then this would still play through your car's uh speakers coming through that station now from what i understand when doing that you may get a little bit of staticky or if the station doesn't have a good connection then it may go out um if you have any music or movies or whatever you put them on a USB flash drive if you click I'm not sure if it's gonna pop up because I don't have a flash drive connected uh, the TF card okay so then you have Bluetooth music phone it says please disconnect your iPhone only only connect Bluetooth I don't want to do that settings which takes you through a whole bunch of different settings which is system smartphone Wi-Fi Bluetooth display CVBS out sound effects reverse settings and factory reset and i believe the reverse settings is basically for the backup camera which of course in this particular situation i am not using the backup camera the eq and i just figured this out tonight that it does have an eq um, where you can adjust it to where it plays in the car and then here you can custom set it or you can go through what they offer which is classic rock jazz electronic, pop, soft, standard, and then back to custom, which I've already kind of set that. And then here's your back button. It takes you back to the home screen. Another neat thing I found on here, if you hit wallpaper, it lights the screen or it darkens the screen. So either or. The time is based on the time that's set in your phone uh, based on today's date. So I'm gonna go back here into CarPlay and you can see ways i'm not going to click on that because i don't want to show my current location but if you use ways you know how that looks of course if you click on phone it's basically going to show uh any numbers that you have saved in your phone as favorites same thing with iphone if i get a message the device will actually read your message so i'm gonna do i'm gonna do a test and show you So I just text that. So uh, if you get a text message while you're using this, you don't have to read the text. The system, I have it set on announce messages, so it will read the message to you. Uh, settings, and then, it, of course, it has your Apple Maps. Uh, as I mentioned before, Car Home it just takes you back to that main screen. And if you hit here, it shows you here. I'm not going to play any music because I don't want to get a copyright 
notification, but this is this is actually really cool. Um, I think generally on Amazon, this particular unit retailed for about one hundred and eighty nine dollars. Uh, as I mentioned, I did not pay anything for this particular unit. Um, it did have a eighty dollar uh, discount on it, and because I had a, a free gift card, I applied that gift card, so I basically didn't pay anything for this. And I'm really excited. This is like my Christmas gift to myself uh, for this year. I try to buy myself something. And this is something that I've always wanted. And for that reason, I was able to get it. So I'm looking forward to getting this thing installed in my vehicle, testing it out, uh, and seeing how it really works. I tested it out a little bit earlier just to plan it in my car. And it was actually awesome. So I can't wait to actually get it fully installed with the proper length uh, auxiliary cord get it on the road using ways or making phone calls and just seeing how it works in a general setting. So um, if I'm able, I may do uh, a test on the car. If not, I may just come back and kind of tell you how that works. So thank you for tuning in to Just Dragons Random Thoughts. Again, this is my review of the, I believe this was uh, the manufacturer is Carovin, C-A-R-O-V-I-N. Uh, this is a Chinese manufacturer. Uh, this uh, item, uh, what I remember looking at the uh, Amazon ad, said that it was manufactured actually the day before uh, my birthday this year. So that's pretty cool. So it's not very old. Um, it's similar to a, a bunch of other units that I've seen on Amazon that retail right around the same price, maybe some a little less, but it does what it says it's going to do. So this is actually a great alternative for anyone, like I said, who has an older vehicle. Um, if you're interested in having the ability to use CarPlay, or if you're not, you don't want to use CarPlay and you want to use Android Auto, uh, either one of those, uh, the ability to have that particular function by using a device that is slightly cheaper than having to purchase a whole new vehicle or just changing out your entire uh, audio system in your car. So uh, again, Thank you for tuning in. If you have not already uh, subscribed, please, please subscribe to my channel, like, share, and thank you for tuning in to Just Dragons Random Thoughts. Until next time.